I wanted to create a piece for the unsung heroes of the American people. All of the citizens who have sworn an oath of duty, whether it be at a local community as an alderman, whether they are a police official, an EMT, a fire official, whether they are a, an elected official, whether it is a community school board, a state position, or they are an appointed position. Anyone who took an oath of duty is who we dedicated this piece for. The important common denominator is the oath of office. And throughout this march, you hear what we call the oath theme. Five simple notes. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. And if you think about it, it's about when someone does take that oath of office, they tend to think of the weight that they're going to be carrying and the responsibility that they have for their constituency. The oath. Bing, bum, ba, ba, bum. Like most marches, it has a bridge section, or what we call a dogfight. I call it the angry section, because I think at one time, anyone who takes that oath of government service gets frustrated with their job. But the march at the end is very conclusive, very majestic, and that five-note theme, the oath, is displayed very well with the Drum and Bugle Corps. This piece has been performed over 200 times, including overseas in Belle Wood, France, and as well at every Fisher Hall at Lincoln Center. But right now you're going to see our version as part of Music in Motion 2010, Tour of Duty.